Welcome back to movementprofessional.com. So today we're going to go over five different movements on the agility ladder, focusing on being light on the feet and maintaining an upright torso. This type of agility work is more specific to longer duration activities such as jogging. So I'm going to go through the movement first at uh, full speed. Uh, first movement is going to be one foot in each block. All right, you want to just take note to the upright torso position. All right, so if I stop it there and rewind it, you'll see that I'm maintaining a nice upright torso from the ankle bone up to the ear. All right, and the arm position here is close to that of a 90 degree angle. All right, and then you got one leg that's going to be straight and the other leg that is going to be flexed. All right, and that should be the staple with each motion going through. All right, one of the more common mistakes as you see going through is that both knees stay bent and it becomes like a moving squat so you want to try to avoid that all right so moving on to the next one you got two feet in each block all right so going through that at full speed again you're just trying to stay light on your feet so you're prioritizing lightness on the feet and so slowing it down there you can see again have a good 90 degree angle there all right, and that's just going to be the arm position that I'd want to take on if I was going for a long jog and again you can see flexion of the hip and knee there and on the back leg going straight all right what you're looking for is this ankle position of the flex leg to be pretty much in line with the straight leg behind it all right so just quick feet through there all right third motion is going to be lateral motions two feet in each block trying to stay upright still have the same hand position as if i'm going jogging all right if i slow it down can see again landing light through the ball of the feet come back to an upright type of stance so again I don't want to stay in a squat the whole time my knees will bend but then I come back to a more extended torso all right and this speaks to a concept called a reciprocal motion all right so you want to make sure that you're not staying in the same position the whole time that you're you know going into a little bit of knee flexion coming up into a little bit of knee and hip extension um, and when you're moving where you're, you have uh, one leg uh, moving forward and another leg behind you, you want to have the, the one leg be in a flex position and the other leg be in an extended position so you can get that reciprocal motion. It'll allow you to go longer without putting uh, too much stress on the joints. All right, so the next motion is going to be diagonals, so two feet out, two feet across. Again, prioritizing lightness of the feet and an upright torso. All right, so going slowly through that, you can see landing light. Torso stays upright, two feet in each block. All right, control is the name of the game here, so don't go so fast that you lose control. All right, and then we'll see it on the way back. Nice and light on the feet, torso upright. My gaze is down for the sake of this drill. A progression would be to actually have the gaze up. All right, so the fifth motion here is going to be two out, two in. All right, so I'm leading with the left when I go left. And slow motion, lead with the left, right follows, come out, and back in. Torso's upright, nice relaxed hands. Okay, and then going the other way, lead with the right, going right. All right, so that's a nice flow of agility motions. Uh, one way you can utilize that in a program is that you just set a timer for about yeah, 20 minutes or so and you just kind of freestyle through those motions for 20 minutes it gives you a nice aerobic workout that's not putting the exact same stress on the body so you're moving forward sometimes you're moving laterally sometimes you're moving in diagonals all right so you're mixing it up but it can be the same type of motion as going for a jog would be except there's more variability of motion all right so let me know if you have any questions see you next time